Yeah, so just popped back on the truck and did a little bit of a semicircle. Old stuff there. Some fresh tape though, so you never know with this forest, man. It's the only place I've been in the world where one, at night, it terrifies me, and two, anything can happen. I fully believe in this forest, anything can happen, day or night. Day is a lot better because you can see. I fully believe this is the most haunted forest in the world. I, I, sorry, I'd take that back. Most haunted place in the world, hands down. I, 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 I don't know. Um, I, I don't think the world's seen anything like this. No. I, I reckon. I reckon the devil lives here. You know, if you believe in devils and demons and all that kind of stuff. But I, I believe something really bad lives in here. And I've been told that too, so by people who said, "Oh, don't do the ghost hunt again," because it's like this is serious in here, man. You know, that's, I don't really follow many young explorers, but what TFL did, you know, I'm just trying to reinforce the fact of how serious it is in here. It's no game, especially if you're a ghost hunter. Like, walking through the forest at night is scary enough. Ghost hunting it, communicating, talking, trying to get something to happen. That's, there's a lot of difference between being a ghost hunter and an explorer, I'll tell you that right now. Alright, I'm just going to follow this last bit of string over here. As I said, if you come to the forest, and the same thing happened to me, when you first see your first bit of string, you're going to get chills and you're going to go, Oh my God! You know, is there a body at the end of it? I'm just here to tell you reality, and there's not, there's rubbish at the end of them. Um, there's, oh, don't get me wrong, there is a the chance there'll be a body at the bottom of it, at the end of it. But 90% of the time, there won't be. Because people seem to forget that a lot of people who want to commit suicide, but not thinking about it, man, they're going to do it. Nothing's going to stop them. Why would they leave string? It's the people that think about it that leave the string. And they're most likely the people to think about it and go home. I'll just have a look at the end of this bit of string. I'll probably go down the track a bit. I absolutely, I can remember TFL getting to those ribbons and stuff. I think they might have gone down further. We'll have a look. And then I've got to go look for this girl. This area. Can you see him? my left, about 70 metres is where that woman hung this off and I found on Monday. It's my 10 o'clock is where all those girls stuff is and I've come to look for her in here and what I've got is I've got a dude in here walking around with a backpack heading deeper and deeper in. You don't come in here unless you're gonna kill yourself. If you're gonna go hiking you walk for the tracks. So I'm going to go see if this guy's okay.
as soon as he saw me, he's about 80 metres in front of me in the trees, I could only just make out like a shape moving. And as soon as he saw me, he's gone further and deeper in that way. I mean, I think I've got about two hours of light left. I'm gonna go follow this guy. I'm gonna make sure he's okay. And I just got this really bad feeling this guy's gonna kill himself. Because you don't come through all this shit walking. All the Japanese stay to the tracks. It's a dude. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. But I'm not walking away. I'll tell you that right now. He's just down in there somewhere. I just gotta be careful. He might be hiding, waiting for me. Who knows what could happen. But if you're this side of the forest, remember I talked about, everyone talked about danger zones and stuff? Oh, this guy's in here where there's been already one suicide. He's got a backpack, he's by himself. It's getting dark, he's walking deeper in. I gotta talk to him. to come through here. Otherwise it would have hurt him. He's following this trap. G'day mate, how are ya? Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Buddy. Buddy. Oi. Konnichiwa. Where are you going? Where's he still running? He's up in there.
I'm gonna come after you. You might as well stop running, mate. Oh, there you go. That's him, he just took off. Running. He was just sitting down there. He's gone. He's like a fair way away now. Right there, you've got someone who's going to commit suicide. I've just got this chill. Uh, he's another full grown man running away from another man. I don't have much light left. I'm gonna have to go in there and see what he's doing. I mean, if he keeps running away, I might, I can catch him and knock him out. Or should I go back and get the police and tell the police that he's in here doing this? But he's, he legged it. He was tripping over shit. He smashed his legs up all along there. I'm not that much of a scary person, but right there you've got, he's only got a backpack. I better go try to find this guy. He was just sitting down, he was just sitting down here, he's run up that gully. I'm going to stay to the high ground in case he, I don't know, look, there's a small chance he might come back out and be pissed off and come flying up. So if I'm on the high ground, I can defend myself. I've got to go down and have a look. And the thing with this guy is, he's just up in there somewhere. I haven't heard him move for a while. But I'm, lo I'm losing sunlight. Get going. He's got no, no ribbon, nothing. He's just walked in here. I mean, look, he could be exploring like me, but I doubt it. Konnichiwa! 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 Hi! Man, he's gone. I just heard him run again. Don't be scared! Konnichiwa!
Uh, a friend, Australian. I've basically got to wait till he moves. It's okay. A friend. Come have a cigarette. Have some food. Where has he gone? Hang on. Konnichiwa! I didn't think it'd be that quick. See, look at the caves around here. Could be anywhere. I thought at last I heard him was over there. I don't want to keep pushing him further in either. Um, you're not going to believe this. I've just found another hanging. Are you kidding me? Well, look at the good thing, it's another body I can get home. Right through these trees, right in front of me. 50 metres. I don't know where old mate's gone, but someone's hanged themselves. 50 metres in front of me. Very old. Fuck is wrong with this place, man? It's about 200 meters that way. I found that woman, I think. And it's getting dark. The fuck is wrong with this place, man? Well, let's go have a look. That's skeleton, sir. Very, it's over a year old. Skeleton. You know, I'm gonna say it again. For the world, there's no such thing as the forbidden zone in this forest. It's everywhere. I don't know where old mate's gone. 
some guy running around out here. Just found a little skeleton. I got paranormal activity at my hotel room every fucking night. Lost a leg. Stinks. There's like a new backpack there, so I don't know if that's his or that skeleton's old though. Leg bones come off. I'm gonna go keep an eye for this guy. Still wearing glasses. Backpacks over there. That's why. That's why this place is so haunted. We're nowhere near the. This is just off the track as you come in. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth that is in heaven. Give us this day our daily break. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. It's over a year. I'll hold that one. I don't want to show you too much grisly stuff, but it's the reality of it. This is the reality of the suicide forest. I've got some guy who's alive running in here. I, I, got, I, I go him, try and get him, and I just come across this. That's the reality. Like, I've been in here three days, I've found two bodies. It's getting real dark. I gotta get out of here. I gotta make sure I remember this place. Call the police tomorrow and get this person home. Been here a long time though. It's starting to get dark now, so I'm gonna, I'll probably take the police in, in the morning. This is why this place is so haunted. And I'm gonna say it, this is why you don't come here at night and ghost hunt it or walk through at night by yourself. I know I did. It smells real bad. That backpack looks pretty new though, so. And this person might have loved ones or family. No one knows where, where he is. It's male. It's got a glove on. That's eerie, man. All right, it's getting real dark now. I, there's nothing I can do about old mate. He's run off or hiding. Day three. It's getting dark now. I'm getting out of here. You don't want to be here in the dark. I already know that. Watch my other videos. Today, uh, on day two, I found all those belongings, deodorant, pencils, bags, that kind of stuff. That's just up there. And if, you're, if you watch that video, you'll say, I smelt death or something dead. That's because that body 
um, that I just found then is probably about 100 meters from that spot. And so you got a body there, you got a body that way. You got some guy running around like a lunatic down there. The woman, other woman I found who hanged herself is just over there. And um, remember I told you I had that bad feeling about this area? You know, it's not on the map as if I've been zoning around it. Oh shit! But I told you I had a bad feeling about this area. I got a real bad feeling. And it's getting dark and I've got to get the fuck out of here because I'm not being stuck in here at night. I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm not prepared to ghost on it. You know, you've got to be in the right frame of mind to take on Akigahara at night. And I'll tell you what, in the last three days, I'm not in that right frame of mind. Well, there's another person who could return to the family. So that's a good thing. Another th person's been found. That's a good thing. Do I believe I've, I'm pissing something off in here by finding them? Yes, I do. I really believe that there is something real evil right where I'm standing in this forest and I reckon I'm pissing it off. So it's getting weirder. I just walked out the front there and some this old Japanese dude, like, I don't know, 65 or something, just walked straight up to me, staring at me. And he goes, you. And I was like, yeah, mate, how you going? He was like, uh, you. And then he looked at the shopkeeper, the guy who owns the shop here. I've talked to him a couple of times. I don't think he likes me much. And then they looked at each other and the shopkeeper nodded to the old guy. And then the old guy goes, you found suicide. And I was like, yeah. And he couldn't speak any English. And then he just sort of stared at me. And I said, oh, I just found another one too. And he goes, two. Held up his fingers like that. And I went, yeah. And he started laughing and he walked away. Now I'm walking away. There are all three of them are behind me, talking and looking at me. Great. Not only that, my hotel room is haunted as fuck. And I've got shit going on, left, right and centre. And which I don't mind because I'm a ghost hunter. But it's 24-7 now, man. It's 24-7. During the day, I'm in there looking and finding bodies. And at night, I can't sleep because there's apparently from what people saw from the live stream last night, there's a four-year-old girl running around in my hallway, which I can hear all the time. And there's some fucking malevolent spirit who she's scared of, and he's chasing her around. This is day three. But... I'll tell you one thing, whatever it can throw, the Johnny P can take. I'll tell you that. I don't give a shit what they're talking about back there. I'm doing a fucking job. Fucking Japanese bitch. That's like, that's three bodies in three fucking days that Westerners have found. And what the fuck are they doing?